The hyperbolic tangent function is defined as e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by e to the x plus e to the negative x. Suppose we are told that the hyperbolic tangent function value for a given value of x is 12 thirteenths. And we are asked to find the other hyperbolic trig function values. So we would need to find the hyperbolic sine function value, the hyperbolic cosecant function value, the hyperbolic cosine function value, the hyperbolic secant function value, the hyperbolic tangent function value we are given is 12 thirteenths, and we would need to find the hyperbolic cotangent function value. We can begin by using a hyperbolic trig identity, and that is 1 minus the square of the hyperbolic tangent of x is equal to the square of the hyperbolic secant of x. We are told that the hyperbolic tangent of x is 12 thirteenths, so we will substitute that value. And we have 1 minus the square of 12 thirteenths is equal to the square of the hyperbolic secant of x. Squaring, we have 1 minus 144 over 169 is equal to the square of the hyperbolic secant of x. And now, combining with a common denominator, we have 25 over 169 is equal to the square of the hyperbolic secant function value of x. Now, apply the square root to both sides. But notice that no plus or minus was applied to the square root. Let's see why this is. The graph of the hyperbolic cosine function is shown here. For the function y equals hyperbolic cosine of x, the domain is all real numbers and the range is y greater than or equal to 1. The hyperbolic secant of x is the reciprocal of the hyperbolic cosine of x. So the hyperbolic secant of x would be equal to 1 divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. We see here the graph of the hyperbolic secant of x. For the function y equals the hyperbolic secant of x, the domain is all real numbers and the range is 0 to 1, including 1. These values are all positive, so it is not necessary for us to apply the plus or minus to the radical in this case. So we find that the hyperbolic secant value is 5 thirteenths. And since the hyperbolic secant function and the hyperbolic cosine function are reciprocals, we can then see that the hyperbolic cosine of x is 13 fifths. So now we can fill in the hyperbolic cosine of x is 13 fifths and the hyperbolic secant of x is 5 thirteenths. We can now use another hyperbolic trig identity to find the hyperbolic sine of x. This identity will be the square of the hyperbolic cosine of x minus the square of the hyperbolic sine of x is equal to 1. So substituting 13 fifths for the hyperbolic cosine of x, we find the square of 13 fifths minus the square of the hyperbolic sine of x is equal to 1. And now solving for the square of the hyperbolic sine of x, we get 169 divided by 25 minus 1 is equal to the square of the hyperbolic sine of x. Combining with the common denominator, we find that the square of the hyperbolic sine of x is equal to 144 over 25. Now, we will apply a square root to both sides. Again, note that there was no plus or minus applied to the radical. The graph of the hyperbolic tangent function is shown here. The domain is all real numbers and the range is from negative 1 to 1. The graph of the hyperbolic sine function is now shown here. And the domain is all real numbers, and the range is all real numbers. But let's note that the hyperbolic tangent function of x and the hyperbolic sine function of x share the property that when x is negative, y is also negative, and when x is positive, y is also positive. In this example, the hyperbolic tangent function is positive. So therefore, there is no need for us to apply the plus or minus on the radical. The hyperbolic sine function value will also be positive. And that value will be 12 fifths. The hyperbolic cosecant of x 
is 1 over the hyperbolic sine of x. So the hyperbolic cosecant of x will be 5 twelfths. So now we can fill in these two values. The hyperbolic sine of x is 12 fifths. The hyperbolic cosecant of x is 5 twelfths. We have one value remaining to find, and that would be the hyperbolic cotangent of x. The hyperbolic cotangent of x is equal to 1 divided by the hyperbolic tangent of x. We know that the hyperbolic tangent of x is 12 thirteenths. So therefore, the hyperbolic cotangent of x will be 13 twelfths. And now we have found the values of the other hyperbolic trig function values given the value of the hyperbolic tangent function.